Hi guys and gals, James Stacy here for blogtowatch.com and today we're taking a look at the new Benares More 42. It's a new steel dive watch from the guys at Benares. Uh, what you're seeing is the first 42 millimeter version of the More. There's been a series of 44 millimeter versions in steel and in bronze and a 47 millimeter in titanium and now a 42 millimeter in steel. So you get that 42 millimeter wide case kind of a cushion style case. It's 14.2 millimeters thick, including a slightly domed crown. 50 millimeters lug to lug, which is a bit of a sweet spot for a wrist like mine, kind of a flat on the top, six and a half, seven inch wrist. 22 millimeter drilled lugs for easy strap changes. Uh, previous mores, I had a more one that used uh, uh, screwed bars in the lugs, and while that is nice and secure, it is also somewhat of a pain to uh, do strap changes. This makes it very simple. It can be done with a traditional strap tool or simply a, a pin of some sort to get into that hole. Um, you're looking at a weight on the bracelet sized for my wrist of 195 grams, which isn't bad for a steel sport watch, and on the included CUDA rubber strap, you're looking at 136 grams, which is pretty good. You get a uh, domed sapphire crystal with a uh, anti-reflective coating. Uh, the movement is a Miyota 9015. This is uh, very common for Benares now with the rising prices of the ETA 2824 and its other versions. Uh, the more cost-effective route to produce a watch that's going to stay well under $1,000 is to use this kind of rock-solid movement from Miyota. So that's a Japanese movement based um, out of a sister or an umbrella company from Citizen. Uh, so you do get automatic winding um, hacking and uh, really a strong timekeeper. The movement in this watch was holding time to about negative uh, three seconds a day, uh, providing the watch was worn. And uh, you can't really ask for much more than that. It's uh, a nice movement and one that I think uh, Benares has made the right choice in using as it keeps their price uh, well under a thousand dollars. So the Moray 42 is available in a total of six versions. Uh, you have two in brushed steel with uh, the Arabic dial that you see here, kind of an Italian sport dial. Uh, really nice, this is definitely my preference. You have two in black or blue dials with what's called the dart dial. And finally, you, you can get an all black DLC version that comes with a Chinese character dial or steel with a blue dial with the Chinese characters as well. To see all those versions, check go to uh, BenarisWatches.com. There is only so many available as each as they're only making a hundred. So if we get in a little closer here, we can take a look. So obviously you get a lot of room for luminous paint. You get great loom from this watch, an excellent bezel. The bezel is a steel style bezel, so you don't get the sapphire or the ceramic that's seen on a lot of watches these days. I think this looks great. I don't know how long it'll stay looking great. It may end up looking a little scratched over time as that's what happens with, uh, you know, kind of a brushed steel finish. Uh, that said, I do like this decision over having, say, a black bezel that's in a ceramic or a sapphire. You get a great crown, signed crown on the side here, great grip. Uh, that controls all of the, for, uh, the functions. Moving into the bracelet, you're looking at a, a single piece style bracelet, similar to like a Seiko Monster, except here you get a screwed link construction. It's very smooth, very nicely finished. It's a very simple bracelet that has a bit of a taper. It takes you down to a safety dive clasp here. No dive extension as you do get the strap that's included. We do get a number of micro adjusts, so no trouble getting that perfect fit, which is great. I only had to remove a few links to fit for my wrist, but this is a very comfortable bracelet. And again, at 195 grams, um, you're looking at probably just over 200 with all the links included. It's really a great, uh, great bracelet, especially in a watch of this price point, but definitely one of the betters on the uh, sub thousand dollar category I've ever seen. So the 42 millimeter More, not only does it come with the uh, bracelet that you see here, but you also get Benares' new CUDA dive strap. It's a great strap with a nice uh, screwed buckle, signed as well. Kind of an isoframe style strap. I used this um, and had no trouble fitting the uh, More 42 over a 7 millimeter wetsuit. I'll talk more about the dive in a moment, but this worked out perfectly on a dive. It looks the part. I think it looks great specifically on uh, on a watch like the, uh, the More and uh, that's included uh, for the price. And along with uh, the watch, the bracelet, and the strap, you also get a uh, kind of case. This is the box that the watch comes in. I like when watch brands do this because uh, 
your typical kind of wood or, you know, metal watch box isn't all that useful, but this is great for traveling or keeping kind of other watch hobby items in. Uh, again, that's included in the price. So a pretty good kit from uh, Benares with the Mori 42 as usual. Uh, we've seen a lot of nice kits from, uh, from Benares in the past. So I got my dive license earlier this year and uh, what I've learned um, about dive watches since then is mostly bezel based. Um, the cooler waters around Vancouver necessitate wearing five millimeter uh, wetsuit gloves that make using a normal bezel or an internal style uh, bezel, a crown operated bezel, completely hopeless. So I was really excited when I got the Moray 42 in and saw that it has this nice coin grip on the side. Um, I took it on a couple of dives uh, a couple weeks ago to a place called Porto Cove, just outside Vancouver. Uh, mounted up on the uh, CUDA strap, and uh, what I found was with uh, even with the thick gloves on, the bezel was easy to use. The watch is fantastically legible, great as a bottom timer, as a backup for a dive computer, and it performed beautifully. Um, the few points where I found myself in a darker segment. I was able to simply shine my dive light on the watch and uh, take a look at the loom, which we'll show you in a moment. But really, this has been a, a fantastic dive watch. I have a few other dive watches that are very legible, easy to use. But of course, if you can't set that luminous pip at your, uh, at your drop point, then you really don't know how long you've been down. Um, I would say this watch is actually legible enough for a partner to be able to read if they wanted to double check something or to check any of the measurements. Um, really a great dive watch and one that I'll definitely use again on uh, future dives around Vancouver. What we'll do now is just take a look at a nice bright loom shot. Alright, and here's the Moray 42 all charged up under a dive light. What you get is this very bright, very legible time display. This is great for movie theaters or checking the time after you fell asleep and you wake up. You have no idea what time in the morning it is. Uh, you get a very bright luminous pip here which I found very handy for diving, would be great for doing some night diving, which I definitely plan on trying. All in all, uh, the loom on the Mori 42 is excellent. It's very bright, it's very long lasting, it's similar to uh, a good Seiko in quality, and uh, definitely doesn't leave much to be desired. So let's take a look on wrist. Okay, so here's the Mori 42 millimeter on wrist. The sizing is excellent. I had a Moray 1 um, and I eventually flipped it simply because I didn't like the 45 millimeter sizing. It slightly overpowered my wrist. I think this is just about perfect. So if you have, you know, a six and a half, seven inch wrist like mine, or simply prefer your sport watches to be a little smaller than the sporty norm these days, I think this is a great option. You get a fantastic bracelet, um, a great bezel, excellent loom, uh, very solid timekeeper, and uh, a great piece of kit. You get the uh, strap and the, uh, the box included. If you'd like to see some pictures of the watch on my wrist uh, using the strap and even over a wetsuit, be sure to stop by blogtowatch.com and check out the whole review. The link should be in the description uh, where you can get some uh, closer details and some photos and such there. So a great watch that's also dive ready, um, a great design, easily worn every day, and at $680 uh, for the whole kit, I think it's one of the better values in the indie market, especially if you'd like something a little smaller. Um, yep, definitely a great buy and one that uh, I've really enjoyed wearing around. So this has been our review of the Benares Moray 42. Thanks very much for watching.